Well, hello. Welcome to my drug kitchen. Why is it foaming? Baby. Uh. Shit is getting real over here. And that's beautiful. Oh, this is a wine that I found in my sister's kitchen, which is free. Let's talk about the importance of cooking when you're drunk. It's important to remember that if you've been drinking, you should be also dancing. Now, you should also be drinking a lot of water because alcohol or run, sprint. I like to sprint. Oh. This is a show that is about making sure you don't puke your guts out. This is a show that's about friendship. This is a show about... Hello. So let's talk about grilled cheese sandwiches. Do you like them? Yeah, all the time. First thing you gotta do is not be drunk when you're cooking. Safety advisory. Just saying. Maybe you should have gotten a burrito. So anyway, let's get started. This is your cooking pan. No, let's get rid of the hat. Make some food. If it's easy to record things when drunk, it's easy to edit them. I wonder. Hi! If you're watching this, you are in front of a computer. Wink. First things first, you have to collect your ingredients. You have bread, and you have butter. You might be thinking right now, why don't I just make some toast? Fuck, that's so much easier to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, so, you got, so, okay. And then you add fire. This is not it. Whoa. Not so good. Here's a fun note about hygiene. Did that toilet seat even have a lid? <sighs> Wash your fucking hands. Now that we've got that all figured out, it's important for you to remember when cooking to use food. Always use a butter knife for everything. Don't fucking hurt yourself. Let's talk about the benefits of grilled cheese. Um, one, delicious. Number two, easy to eat. Okay, number two, easy to make. <laughs> Butter your shit. This is just, like, truth. Step two, clean while you go. I'm already back. Done. Step three, pick your shit up that you dropped earlier when making a video. Step five, check on your shit. Step five, don't forget that you're cooking. So in this little cooking adventure, I don't actually have any cheese. So, don't do that. Make sure you have good, make sure you have cheese in your house. Beautiful. I wish you could be eating this. Um, wow. I'm in ecstasy. This is an art form. Really wish I had some cheese. Kind of just tastes like... Hot sourdough, which is good, but ultimately disappointing. Well, that sums up this week's episode of Drunk Cooking. Not to imply that there will be a next week's episode of Drunk Cooking. Push it away while you go. The bread was right there. Now it's gone. Next week, we're going to make a mac and cheese. Although maybe that time I should probably make sure we have cheese beforehand. I don't know. This is these are things you think of. Revelations. And on a serious note, don't beat your kids.